Greetings family, Bomani Tayemba live in the flesh. And it's one of those things where you know you see them signs, no mass, no entry. But we're at the Black Civilization Museum, that's it in the background right there. And we're gonna go in there and give you a wonderful tour. And it's been a beautiful, beautiful four days in Senegal. And unfortunately, family, we have to roll out tomorrow, but it's not unfortunate because we're heading to the smiling coast of Africa, the Gambia, tomorrow. So what we have is the best of two beautiful countries, four day each. And trust me, that tenement is nice, family, and we're building on it. I'm rocking my Senegalese jersey today. And I'm looking to get some more. I did see a nice green one. And um, you know, we're gonna add to the collection. The next time you see me in Senegal, you'll see us more with the, the jerseys and everything. I'm building my collection. This is a picture you see right here okay, of our brother George Floyd. Rest in peace, our brother. And, you know, people may say controversial things about many things, but, you know, and it's unfortunate situations opened up a lot of our eyes. Uh, even though these things have been going on as far as police murdering our people, but it brought global attention around the world and you know, and this is the and the footage a film right here on the black civilization museum so for me personally the most important thing is that our brothers and sisters on the continent are seeing more and more of our struggles you know in the african diaspora especially in black america And what I'm hearing, and I'm gonna get my brother Usman to kind of educate us on, is the fact that not only not only we have to wear masks inside, but there's no cameras and camcorders and things like that. That's why that's my problem with going to countries like Togo, Benin. You know, it's you know, the, the, the French system just have too much control over what we're doing. And, and that's why I love you know, I love Ghana. You know, wherever I go. You know, I get cheered on to record, record more, upload because it's a part of how we connect and it's a part of how more of us in the diaspora know about what's going on in Africa. And my brother Usman has seen him walking back out and it, you're told no camera camcorder? Is that what it is brother? Were you told no camera camcorder? No, no camera, no camera. No video, no camera. No, but, 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 but your photo, your eyes, your photo, you can't go. I take it back. Thank you. No, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to just uh, get the outside. And we have a separate tour guide in there? Uh, or we just got to walk gonna, around? This one, and I go, I'm going to translate. Okay, perfect. Uh, but we can bring our phone? Yes, you can use your phone. But no, no, no video. No, no, no camera. No camcorder, no, the big stuff. Yeah. I'm telling you, family, the phones are the most incognito thing ever. Yeah, even when we're in the airport, if I walk around with this beautiful, big Sony 4K HD camera, which is like my favorite system, it just draws too much attention. So, I'm gonna head back to the bus and we're gonna switch out equipment. And that's the National Theater. Let me get you a zoom on that and then give you a full zoom over here on the Black Civilization Museum. And then we'll work to see what we can do on the inside as far as some documentation.
And one of the things I noticed about uh, these wonderful museums, usually there's not much people inside. And my thing will always be, if you don't support our own roots and culture, you know, the museum will just be closed. So one of the things we always do, family, is when we travel to the African continent, we find all these wonderful historical places as far as museums and document the history and connect. And if we can't, we just kind of give you a little outside glimpse. And this is the National Theater. It's giving you a different angle. When I first saw this building, I literally thought it was a, a coliseum or a stadium or something. So, so brother, how many times have you been in here? Give us a little yeah, quick I've little feedback here, before we go over. Like, since, like, since like, like opening, you know. Louder? And it's about like, it's about like, uh, what I can say, like it's about like the construction of seven, it's a construction of seven places that's supposed to be like around. Our former, our former president, Abdullah Wad, is the one who say like, you know, he gonna build it. That's the theater, you know, that's the museum, that's the house of architecture. The civilization museum, you know, there are several things that people like, you know, didn't like do it yet, but you know, he programmed already. You talk about the whole like, complex, right? Yeah, yeah, it's a complex. Oh, the whole anyway, complex. You know, and then, then after he passed, you know, as the second, you know, on, on, on the second round of the election, people put him down because, you know, they, they, they make a trick saying like, they, they try to make a monarchy because he's gonna put his son over here. And he never said, but then after that, you have someone that, you know, messed up the country, you know, sell all our oil, all our goods and stuff like that. And when the when the old pop come back to Senegal, everybody been running up to the airport to his house. What is only three miles, but it take three hours before to get to his house. Because everybody was out saying, please forgive us, we make a mistake. That will happen, because Abdullah White. Because Abdullah White, white people ain't mess with him. He kick out all the white people out, boom. <laughs> and get the Arab people saying, look, I, I know how to make the economy, and this is the Arab people that give you money. Right? But now our former president that come, they bring back out against the, the, the white people. That's why, you know, people are suffering from people like that. But sometimes when you have brother up road and tell him, hey bro, this and that is that. Oh no, you know, it's not easy, but you know, you know, it's not easy nowhere. But no, it's harder over here. It's way, way harder. Because our knowledge has been betrayed, misled, corrupted, you know. And most likely, if, if, you, if you don't accept to be blackmailed, gonna be like you know just like someone who gonna leave his Africanity you know and I think it's good because you feel it on your heart that you are a man of truth even you ain't got none you know what I'm saying because it's not about every time like about material even with material like this song it's not every time about it when you got love for the others and get closer from so from there like you can see like what Africa is about because after, you know uh, what, what I've been saying like all the time like to people the human sense is black why people didn't have no culture, they have tradition, and their tradition is killing, conquering, destroying. That's what it is. If you go back to history until now, that's what's happened. How you can think a white people, as French people, have a military base in my country? Yeah, I did notice that when I first came they in 2004. They have three military base. They have a navy, they have ground, they have air. So they're still here? They're still here. Wow. You know, because like the geographical point of Senegal. Right. It's, kinda like, it's kinda like it's kind of like a some kind of love 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 hate relationship between no, it's master slave it's master colonizer. The independence no, is about dependence. Kuruma pass away, Lumumba pass away, Sankara pass away, Gaddafi pass away. Everybody will say like they want to unite Africa. If you start like getting stronger, you're true. Right now, I think they're on the head of 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 of, of Paul Kagana. Yeah, it's, it's kind of. I, I can feel it. I can feel it. Oh. And matter of fact, matter of fact, I've been saying something like four years ago. Nobody didn't hear me, but now still they, they start coming here. I was telling about the diversity of ethnicology. Et you know, they created that in South Africa. That's what created that xenophobia. Just like four years ago. They went like, you know, on the east of uh, Ethiopia. They get it on the Tigray. Most of like ethnic. They go on the north with the corpse of Egypt. They did it. The only point where they, uh, they went to the center of Africa, central of Africa, they do it. When they have left, because it's supposed to be like a cross. It's Senegal, that's where they miss it, yeah. Because God bless us that we have 
the power who are more stronger than our president. That's the only thing that saves us. The spiritual leaders that are more stronger than the president are the top. That's perfect. So, family, that is Uzmani. I always want to give his uh, cultural and political take on many things. A very wise man. And what we're going to do, we're going to close out and we're going to head into the Black Civilization Museum. But one of the things I want to find out from you, uh, how many times have you been into the Black Civilization Museum? And oh, I've been, I, I can count it, man, bro. Have you been here many times? Yeah, I can okay, count excellent. It. I can count it. Well, never been in here before. Uh, and, uh, you know, I'm a man who loves museums and history. And also, we can see. Earlier I was talking about George Floyd being on there and yeah, yeah, uh, regardless yeah, of whatever yeah, people yeah, think yeah, of him we, we, because we, we people respect may say that Leonardo da Vinci too. We do respect it. But when we talk about black civilization, we're not dealing about that Vinci though. Because yeah, it's just yeah. a mafia. Yeah, I'm not even worried about the Da Vinci. Yeah. What I was focusing on is uh, George Floyd, regardless of uh, whether people think about the man himself, it's a situation that brought uh, open more people's eyes around the world because Where's the people in African what diaspora? What on your right side is Matarbo. It's him like, you know, who classified Gore as a, as a worldwide heritage. You know, he used to be the Secretary General of the UNESCO. You know, just like a month ago, like he's 100 years old now. Both yes, family? He's 100 years. Let, let's close on this and head in the museum. Yeah. Brother, appreciate you, and uh, I'll be right in there with you. Uh, I think it goes there.